Hey there, all you beautiful, beautiful people. This is Adam Brott of Liberation Republic Republica here on the Voluntary Virtues Network. This here is part two, picking up where we left off. I know we ended abruptly last week, uh, but I had you know, an hour-plus interview with uh, Mr. Marcel Fontaine. Uh, so I wanted to cut it in half. I can't go over much more than 40 minutes or so, and I figured the halfway point that I hit there was pretty good. Uh, I will also have a little closing towards the end of this video. Uh, we'll check it out, and don't forget to hit subscribe here on the Voluntary Virtues Network. Show my channel some love, too. I should be uploading some more videos here in the very near future. Uh, thanks a lot. This is Adam Brown again. Keep listening to the interview with the wonderful Marcel Fontaine. Thank you. Speaking of sorting things out, you watched The Purge yeah. Anarchy, uh, the second of the two Purge movies, uh, what, yesterday, a couple of days ago, last week, something like that. Yes. Oh, um, I saw uh, I saw it when the when it for, when it basically came out. Um, I, uh, um, I, w I was like saying like you know what, um, I'll pay Hollywood. I'm gonna definitely see this movie. So I'm just going to like you know see. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna do my own like you know inter interpretation of what I believe you know uh, what the purge is and and like you know. Uh, and why, uh, and, uh, why does it actually, you know, contain anarchy in the whole entire title? And, uh, honestly, I, 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 honestly, like, when I could, uh, um, and by the way, if, um, and by the way, this is going to be some spoilers, so if yeah, you Yeah, I'll throw up a little yet, stop thing um, here, and I'm going to put a uh, little just, spoiler uh, message just, right here. Just stop the movie, uh, we'll, just stop we'll it make right them now. stop, <laughs> either go watch the movie um, through their favorite internet, uh, formats if they are so inclined uh, or uh, or if they don't care about spoilers uh, go ahead and continue on so go ahead yeah mom mom basically the, basically the movie st the movie starts off with the scene like in this uh, in this diner and so like that and uh, they were actually like you know saying like mom you be you better go back you be you better get inside or else uh, mom, or else you don't want to be like you know be be outside during the purge and then like um, and then basically they um, and basically it cuts to a lot of different other people in the whole entire uh, in the whole entire community mom and uh, um, and then basically, uh, and, and then basically there was this, two, the, 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 there was this, uh, there was this couple that was basically fighting. They're like, I think they're trying to over, I think they're trying to overcome a divorce that they recently had and so like that. And basically like the car stopped and then it was, um, and, uh, and it was basically actually by these guys that basically were going to be, pur uh, uh, we're going to be purging and so like that they basically like cut the brake cable and then basically they said they were like saying like fuck fuck we're outside, and then like um, and then um, and then basically the pur the purge was starting to commence and so all like that it was basically saying like um, it was the it, it was just like what you hear on the on the on the trailer saying like better be ready for the commencement of the annual purge, and then basically like um, and it actually actually started to list some rules and regulations for the purge and i was like really you right i was going to ask about that because you know i've, I've been hearing from you and several others um, that the irony of the purge kind of is that in a 12-hour so, span of lawlessness there's laws regulating the lawlessness uh so could you go over some of those rules for us yeah the um there was there there's one there's one rule that you actually hear at the end of the movie is that if if you're outside ma, ma, on purge night ma, you have to be purged and if someone actually help and if someone ma, helps someone ma, from not getting purged then they're they're legitimately breaking the law um, and there's actually uh, and there's actually a law saying only class four we uh, um, uh, only class four weapons are um, um, are used during um, dur uh, during a per uh, or used or not used I'm not too sure I have to I have to check back but uh, 
Um, but the uh, but but only class four weapons are either used or not used in that whole entire in that entire movie. No other we- uh, no other weapons or um, are are allowed in the purge. And um, and obviously, I would probably like you know say this is quite an obvious <laughs> one, but of course, but, uh, but, of course, um, but and, politicians uh, and from, government from what I've been told, what I understand, some of the reviews purged. that I've read, uh, and and from people like you. <laughs> The true anarchists are the ones helping people in the purge. Wasn't there some kind of special name for people who were helping during the purge? Could you kind of go over that with us? Yeah. The, yeah, they, um, they, um, 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 in the beginning of the movie, there was, um, there was some, um, there was some child actually looking on an internet video saying that these are actually a res- this is this is a, this is a resistance movement actually you know against the purge, and uh, um, and basically and basically the father basically said, oh that's just all hogwash, and then they just like you know, uh, um, and it actually goes in de- in detail of how the poor is actually. Um, it, it it kind of has a division between the poor and the wealthy, and the purge, and it actually like you know displays of how the pur- how the poor is handled during the uh, during the purge, and how the wealthy is actually handled during the purge, and uh, and that's actually a contrast within the first movie as well because it actually focused on a wealthy family trying to uh, trying to secure their house. Um, while this movie is basically all about the poor and how they're actually used, uh, used during the purge, and then basically they um, and uh, um, and and basically what, what they actually do is that they actually have a black market for you know the wealth the wealthy, saying that it, um, if that if the wealthy want to purge, they go buy off a poor person. And actually kill them, kill them off right inside their own house to be secure. And then basically they, um, and uh, and that's how the the the, well, the the that's how it's usually like you know done in the purge. Um, and um, and then basically there was um, there's also this other black market where basically they um, where they basically like t- took. Uh, took people off the streets and basically like give them to the poor and they had they had them in this arena and uh, they basically they they basically like you know came in with like you know machetes and gun and like you know uh, other like you know uh, forms of forms of weapons and so like that like guns and uh, and and they basically um, they basically like you know shot all these other these poor people in the arena. And, uh, but, they, uh, but they, um, um, but, the, but there was this one, there was this one, uh, um, um, uh, protagonist in this, mo- in the movie, um, that was, that, uh, that obviously had, like, you know, like, um, uh, like, mil- like, like military, uh, um, in- in- intellect and, like, you know, um, uh, military tactics. So he basically, like, saved most of the people that uh that were like you know on the on the street trying to like you know free uh, and uh and then basically um and then basically at um at 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 the end of the movie um um this uh it, oh yeah before, before I get into at the end of the movie there was actually these government uh um these uh these government things that were basically like sent, uh, that basically uh um, um, that um, that who that whoever watched the resistance movement video would actually like you know get um, uh, get uh, get purged right then and there. They basically came in and uh, and uh, just uh, they just basically raided the, the house and they basically brought them out in the street and actually like you know they were actually going to get uh, purged right then and there of whoever watched the resistance movement um, uh, video. And uh, they um, mostly uh, w- w- once the, once the um, once the government official actually noticed that they were actually like, you know ha- having like the this guy was actually like you know saving these people they were tracking him down and uh, once they got to the uh, once they got in, uh, to the end of the movie they basically like sh- uh, they basically shot him but uh, mom, but they for but they forgot that the people in the in the uh, uh, 
also have like the weapons as uh, as well and oh wow that's uh the government official that's some pretty intense stuff right there and you know a couple things that stick out to me Um, obviously we've got the rich people that are buying the poor people that's despicable in itself (laughs) that would never happen in a free market it's only when you have government intervention then we've got yeah go ahead Well, yeah, that that would ne- that would uh, that would never ever even happen because if because I'm not too, uh, I don't I, I would not even know I wouldn't even like you know say that would be even be in demand in that market. I mean, like that would not even it'll just it'll just um, there'll be no market for it because there will be no demand. I mean, like who who um, who in the what, who in the right mind would actually like want to you know buy up a poor person right, because, because there's going to be less you know, and less customers and, like, who uh, the right so, mind would do that because you're killing what, them off that makes right no mind fucking sense actually, like, you know, so i mean it, and the other service. thought that i had too was that uh you know with the yeah, purge exactly. focusing more I mean, on the like, poor people that i assume are all getting purged off uh yeah, exactly. that is a huge huge statement that a government is wanting to purge the poor people essentially uh, and you know we see that with the with the the war on poverty that has been an abject failure with all these government programs and Obamacare and Obama phone and yeah you know, yeah we'll give yeah, some exactly. lip service to to Bush Bush to uh, Clinton and all the other assholes before them uh, that they are all they all did these just absolutely horrible policies that actually do purge the poor people uh, obviously they're not getting necessarily gunned down in the streets during a 12 hour period of, of lawlessness but it's you know, they're they're dying off because they're so dependent on welfare. They're not being given any opportunities. Well, yeah, well, that's, I shouldn't say uh, given. They're not taking any opportunities. <laughs> These people are so dependent on the state because the state says, you can't do everything you want to do on your own. You need somebody's help, uh, and it needs to be us. It needs to be the state. And that's just so despicable to me. Uh, and, and I think, I don't know if the, the people who wrote The Purge are any kind of libertarian. I hope they are, and they're just kind of doing a huge shock and awe kind of campaign. Or, or like, or they're just being ultra trolls, saying that, um, like, uh, like, like, saying like, oh, with anarchy, it'll be, it'll be killing everywhere, and like, murders everywhere, and chaos, and fires, and like, you know, complete maniacs actually running the street. But, um, I mean, like, uh, I mean, like, even if, even if all laws were actually like, um, uh, were actually, um. We're actually all legal in 12 hours. Would any person in the right mind would actually say, "Hey, right. why not? I, I know what I'd be doing if, if all laws were suspended that, for 12 uh, hours. I would go outside right mind, with a glass right, of raw right milk, gun in my hand, smoking a joint, I mean, and like, taking a piss in public. That's what I would." <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would. Uh, well. I- I would be, uh, I, I, I would be, I would basically grow, I would, I would basically grow my own grow garden in my own, in my own, um, uh, in my, uh, in my own front yard. I would, uh, I would drink raw milk. I would, dr- uh, I would, I would drink uh, non, uh, um, I would drink non ATF regulated <laughs> alcohol. I would, dr- I would drink, uh, um, I would, uh, I would, I would, I would smoke pot. I would, um, I. I, I, I would like, you know, uh, I would say, you know, that's actually an interesting thought license. now that I think about it. I if would, we could uh, lobby would, uh, for a 12 hour would, period of uh, lawlessness uh, and we get people who be, get very efficient at setting up businesses. And the, the idea would be that the, since there shouldn't be any ex post facto laws or anything like that, where, uh, or there, will there come after you after uh, you've committed a so-called crime, uh, since you'd be grandfathered in through the purge, we could set up our own businesses with, things like pot and stuff like that and they couldn't do a damn thing about it if we go by precedent so okay we need to purge <laughs> we need to get that going. we need that now i just that's that's i can't believe i never thought of that before that's that's yeah, awesome exactly. so all right and i don't know if you want to talk about this or not uh and i'll cut it out if you don't want to just let me know uh there's been a, a fun little uh chat going on on your on your facebook page with 
Uh, something you did during the Purge movie, or after you finished with the Purge movie, or before, I forget which. Uh, I want to kind of hash that out, tell people why the hell you what you did, and kind of explain it a little. Well, yeah, I, um, okay, okay, what, um, what, what, what I did, um, after I saw the purge, um, there was these, um, there was this group, these group of, um, my group of teenagers, I, uh, I knew that they were actually, like, you know, uh, um, they were actually, like, you know, old enough to see the movie, but they were, did not have IDs, they were about 17, I think one, 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 I think one was sixteen, but um, but I don't really care less any. I can't, I can care less anyway. But um, but they asked me uh, whether if I could like you know buy the tickets for them or not. Um, and I ba I basically told, I basically asked them, do you have the money? And uh, they said yes, we had the money. And I, I collected the money. I went to the clerk. I asked for for three tickets to see the purge. Um, at 7:30, and uh, and then basically uh, they they basically gave it to the uh, gave it gave it to, to them to me, and I went back out and I basically like you know handed the, them the tickets. I handed the money, saying like you handle the change amongst yourselves, and uh, I just went on my merry way. And uh, um, and and then like I um. And then I posted a status um, saying that, and then basically there is, uh, um, there's obviously this person like saying like, oh, it's the parents' responsibility to, uh, um, to, uh, to buy the tickets for them, and uh, and all that shit, and uh, um, and and me being Mr. Responsible and thought that I have to, you know, be abiding to. Um, to, to to their parents' wishes and so like that, but uh, but I'm if 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 they were already down there anyway, I'm sure that they like you know got a they got their okay from their from their parents. I'm sure they even dro drove them down, but they uh, but they just didn't really have an ID any IDs. So I just like you know uh, and. And me personally, like you know, being like you being an anarchist and all, and I don't really necessarily believe in showing IDs. I basically said, I basically like you know took the moral route, and I actually like you know, um, I actually I right. Actually and bought and the you mentioned the win-win. I was going to ask so, about that. You I mean, said that like, you you got satisfaction right there, uh, out of it so because of your morals, and these what, kids uh, got the satisfaction of being able to see the damn movie, yeah, which I think that is spectacular. You show the free market, even if you're not getting a legitimate product back. You're just getting the the psychic, uh, you know, happiness and the psychic satisf satisfaction uh, of helping somebody, uh, you know, get into something that they might not have otherwise been able to get into. That goes a long way. That just goes to show that it's not all about profit and greed and money, 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 money. It's yeah, exactly. you know, you're but... wanting to help somebody out because why the fuck not? And you know, on another point, you know, if the parents really, really didn't want these kids to go and see these movies. They wouldn't let these kids go to the movies by themselves anyways. I can't tell you how many times my parents were like, well, don't you go be seeing you know, this movie, that movie, or this, you know, things that potentially have sex scenes or uh, grotesque amounts of violence and stuff like that when I was like 13, 14. My parents let me go with my friends, and I would come back and I said, oh, I went and watched the movie you told me I couldn't watch. Uh, and they're like, well, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. And they didn't give a damn. If they give you the permission to go out and, and do, you know... A, a an event with your friends and they know that there's the risk of something out there if yeah, they wanted it, to prevent that risk they would not let you go they would keep you in the house ground you take away this that or the other thing or whatever <laughs> yeah the, yeah they they would they would they would set up like you know uh some like you know draconian type of you know uh, uh type of parenting laws and like you know you have to uh mom you have to watch this movie because it because if it's uh, the movie association of america's regulations and so of that like mom but but yeah like i mom I mean, I mean like even when i was like you know a kid i basically like you know um, I, uh, I, I saw, I saw a movie, but I, I saw a movie, um, 
when I was uh, I saw a PG-13 movie when I was just in um, elementary school. I mean, like, and it, no, and that's, I that's got everything to do a, with the fact so, that sort of media, type of, you know, in and of uh, itself, type of has uh, absolutely type of zero impact on 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 crime, on really anything. So, I mean, to be honest, you know, our conversation here, while it may impact some people and very positively, the fact that this media exists will not make them do anything. It's their own personal choices after they've seen such uh, such media uh, and based on their upbringing and their philosophies, their morals, their principles that will make them do anything. You know, so we see the, the Elliot Rogers kid, uh, he was neglected as a child. Uh, we see that in his manifesto and Stefan Molyneux does a great video on him. Uh, go and check yeah, it out. If exactly you haven't already, like... um, he was neglected by the, by his father and his mother. Uh, and you know, he may have seen some media that said, Oh, you're rich and powerful. You should, you should have all the girls, but he didn't get all the girls. He was a piece of shit idiot, and he went and murdered people. Why? Not because of violent video games, but because he's a freaking asshole psychopath. Since GTA V came out, nobody has committed a crime that said, oh, I did this because I saw it on GTA V. No, people realize that you could do something in GTA V oh, yeah. after you purchase the Xbox Live subscription, the game, and the system. Uh... You can do it for free, zero consequences in real life. Go out in real life and try to do this shit, and guess what? You're going to be thrown in prison, possibly raped in prison, uh, you know, for 20, 30, maybe your whole life. <laughs> People realize that indulging in media and in entertainment is the way to get out some of their things that maybe they really do want to do, but they're like, hey, let's go with no consequences as opposed to all the consequences. What do you think about that? Yeah, exactly. Like, I... Um... I mean, even even if you uh, even if you remember um, back when uh, uh, when it was like you know Columbine, um, a lot of people were basically blaming on uh, um, on Merrill Manson for you know the crimes committed, and he basically flat out said like if you um, um, you're only you're only stupid if you bl if you if you only blame um, if if you actually commit a sentence sen 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 act of violence just because uh, you listened to one of my records. I'm like that, uh, it's just complete. It's just completely stupid, and he actually flat out said that. And uh, um, and it's and it's the same with like you know all media, especially like you know t uh, TV, movies, video games, um, music. Um, uh, if if you c commit some 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 senseless act of violence just because of what this artist, this uh, film director, or this like you know right exactly film production so company we've actually, actually gone you know, way over the time that I'm going to need for one show for the Voluntary Virtues Network. So this will have to be a two-parter. Uh, awesome, I love it. Um, and, um, I love yeah. when I can have three, four, five weeks worth of content ready to go over the course of one, so I don't even have to think about a damn thing for about a month and a half. I love it. Makes me happy. It actually really does. It's fun. Uh, makes me have to work a little bit less, <laughs> so I don't have to crank out everything every week. Um, do you have any final thoughts, anything you want people to know about, uh, any particular <laughs> groups that you're a part of that you want to plug, anything? Go ahead and just throw it all out there. Um, I'm, um, I, uh, I'm just basically like, you know, uh, I'm, um, I mean, like, I'm, uh, I'm also an admin on uh, LGBT for gun rights. I'm, uh, it's basically a, uh, a, it's basically a really nice, uh, um, 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 Facebook group, although we're actually trying to resolve, uh, we're actually trying to get through some drama and stuff because they're still, like, you know, um, in fighting amongst admins, so that's, so, like, I'll, uh, so, so, uh, but we're trying to resolve all that, so, uh, so, 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 so if, you, if you want to, uh, if you want to c uh, come and actually, like, uh, do we you have know, uh, any kind of, I know it's could, tough because of the, like, the financial um, issue, but um, do we have any that. kind of timetable um, where you're going to have you back and, on the network? Uh, uh, I that's a, that, I think that's about it. Good. Um, I'm not I'm not too sure, but hope but ho but hopefully uh, hopefully soon, hopefully soon because if I, if I like you know um if I if I if I at least you know get um get 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 some funds um at least uh, um, uh, I know I put a thousand because I I just basically come up with any like you know uh, 
any arbitrary number, but if um, but if at least if I at least you know get at least about four hundred five dollars five hundred dollars. It, it's absolutely be, my be pleasure. It's been me. so much fun getting but, you know, the last yeah. couple of days, last couple of um, weeks. I, uh, uh, again, it's just I'll refreshing I'll to I'll see uh, a homosexual and, uh, who and is and, a, and, an and anarchist. So I just love on. it. It makes me so happy. I might end up going shitting rainbows later. I don't know. I'm just so pumped. Uh, so I, I know I'm I'm probably gonna piss some people off saying this shit, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Uh, I've had quite my uh, fair share of, of oh, but, people. Uh, I had one gay oh, stalker, and that's that's a conversation for another day. We might have oh, a private way, letter, I, but I, I was, I was, uh, thank you, sir. That's that's very flattering. You're uh, you're not too bad to look at yourself. Uh, yeah, I, I can confidently say that uh, I know attractive guys when I see them. Uh, so, okay. anyways, we'll, <laughs> well, we'll get into that another day, and hopefully, maybe one of these times we can uh, talk with your boyfriend uh, together oh, thanks. Thank and have a, a fun <laughs> conversation uh, for a show, just for shits and giggles. Who knows? Maybe it'll go on my channel, maybe it'll go on the <laughs> network. We'll see. Uh, but everyone, please, please check him out on Facebook. Friend him. I uh, Go to LGBT uh, for gun rights. I will shoot yeah. that in the description below. And... Even if you just throw five, ten bucks, twenty bucks at him uh, through the GoFundMe program, which will again be down below. Also, send him some Bitcoin if you happen to have some. Uh, we need this gentleman back on the back on the airwaves. Uh, it's it's been so empty without him. I know we've got a lot of content creators on the network, but we need everybody's voice, and especially uh, a voice like this one. Uh, so please check it out. Uh, I guess this will be Adam Broad of Liberation Social Republic High signing off, saying peace and love and liberty, guys. Catch you later. Hey everybody, this is the quick closing that I've got for you guys. Just want to give you a brief announcement. If you have not been paying attention to Marcel Fontaine's Facebook page, first off, shame on you. You need to be watching this guy. He's got all kinds of funny posts and everything like that. Marcel Fontaine, one of our own, is going to Liberty Fest NYC, and he is a headliner. He is with the likes of Naomi Wolf, Gary Johnson, Scott Horton, Tom Mullen, Stefan Kinsella, uh, Robert Murphy, Lynn Ulbricht, uh, Derek Bros, Marcel Fontaine, he's on the goddamn front page of this website. October 11th in Brooklyn, New York, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the Warsaw Hall at 261 Driggs Avenue, like I said, in Brooklyn, New York. Go to lfnyc.com to go and buy tickets or check out information on Liberty Fest NYC number 5. Let's keep in mind that Liberty Fest NYC a couple of years ago featured Tom Woods, Adam Kokesh, Stefan Molyneux, and all those other wonderful, wonderful liberty, liberty-minded liberty people. Now this isn't an anarchist uh, or voluntarist exclusive uh, event, so you are going to see some party libertarians and some statists. But this event is just well worth it. Get your tickets just to go see Marcel Fontaine. This dude is going to bring the fire. So make sure to go and check that out. Thanks a lot, guys. This is Adam Brott signing out.